We talk a lot about gentrification at WUSA 9 because it's an ongoing conversation in our community. The Don't Mute DC movement got attention when a Metro PCS store in Shaw temporarily stopped playing go-go music. Well, the music is back on, but as Mike Valerio explains, it's now about an effort to preserve DC culture. Among a sea of people, the music at the heart of Shaw and the city take center stage. I feel like the music is the glue to the city. The music is the common ground. Yada Ya is a hometown go-go artist, one of thousands packing 14th and U for the third Don't Mute DC peaceful protest. It started when a noise complaint from a high-end condo silenced go-go music playing at a historic street corner. Well, it made me feel real empty inside because I grew up on go-go music. Shaw stood up, and this is the latest gathering to ask that this corner of the capital keep its culture. Go-go beats right now are more than just music. A vehicle and a tool to basically uh, create a platform for people to have their voice heard. Organizers say they don't want D.C. to be muted, and they also don't want its historic African-American neighborhoods to be forgotten. Damo wants this movement to help shine a light on the need for better public safety, access to health care. Housing issues, just so many things that's been off from gentrification. Those are tough issues, but the music is what Damo and Yada Ya say will carry them through. You know, everything in life that you want to do or want to accomplish, you know, you need to be consistent. Meaning this won't be the last rally as GoGo -Go speaks volumes. On U Street, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.